Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play Space Quest 6, the final frontier. My name is Vlasbar, this is your Storby's Gaming Channel, and today we continue Roger Walker's quest. Next. Yeah, I'm getting there, Sisney. Um, I actually had to reload a previous save file to come back here because I didn't have all these files in my inventory. It's the nature of Sierra Games. Because what I didn't know, or... I didn't realize, and I should have realized this because this makes a lot of sense. When you leave, all these disappear, but you need these in order to advance the game. So what you have to do, is you have to go to the friendly printer button. The cyber printer accepts your cyber file gratefully and begins to print. The question is, what exactly is the output of a cyber printer? <laughs> I think it's the main office of where you go back to. I think. Um... So I basically need to print all this stuff in order to take it with me because there's cyber files. You can't just take a cyber file into the real world. I mean, even if she let me walk out with these things, it's not like they would transfer, right? So that makes a whole lot of sense how, why you would need a printer here. I don't know why I didn't realize this. I should have realized this. I felt kind of dumb when well, I realized Well, what do that. you know? Maybe there is something to this superhero reputation thing after all. And after that episode with the egg beater, I thought you'd never impress me again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this game. I really do. I love this series. Y'all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I have been away for a couple days. I've had a lot going on in my life, but uh, I'm really, 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 really excited and happy to be back here. I can't say how much you guys, you guys mean the world to me, you really do. And you know, it's not so much to say in my video that you matter in the outro, you truly do matter to me. And I want to, I want to just say thank you for everything. And what? I just died. Guess you're about to find out if there's cyber gravity. Apparently it does. Yep. I really Smooth hope it, uh. Lax, lax. Get okay, good. <laughs> oh man, that scared me for a second. <laughs> uh, by the way, if uh, Trifle Nightmare ever watches this video, I want to say, hey, thank you, bud. Uh, hanging out with you the other day. Uh, yeah, he's a great Twitch streamer, Trifle Nightmare. Uh, T-R-I-F-L-E-N-I-G-H-T-M-A-R-E. One word. Uh, he does a lot of retro stuff and some other things. I I relive some of my past childhood when I watched him play Defender of the Crown. And um, the other day was a really bad day for me in RL. Um, uh, I got some sad news, uh, but everything's okay. It's just uh, I needed I needed someone to you know be there, and he was there for me. So thank you, Trifle. Uh, Alexa, go give him a follow on Twitch. He's amazing. I also was TSS958 Gaming. I was watching him do uh, uh, Need for Speed. That was great too. By the way, this plank. You smartly drop the board in place, spanning the gap between the two bridge sections. Yeah, when I went to look up like how, <laughs> how in the world do I uh, get the files? Um, I saw this as well. I don't know anything beyond this, but it, this is a shortcut. That's really cool. I like I like the plank. All right. Yeah, and there's our printer. That's what I thought. So I need to grab these files. And what do we got? A lot of files. These are the printouts of the files you've collected from cyberspace as evidence against Dr. Bellows. Bellows. I oh, like Bellows, like uh, Wind Bellows from Crescoli 2. Okay, so now I give him these to basically say that I have evidence against him. Yep, okay, cool. Well, Dr. Bellows, I think you've got some explaining to do. That makes perfect logical sense. You're out of your mind, Wilco. So, what do you have to say for yourself now, Doctor? Confronted with the facts found in the files you located, he freaks and spills all. My <laughs> eloquently stated. <laughs> I, I didn't think this all the way through until I'd crossed my own personal ethical line. I was already 
It had already gone too far. The experiments alone. I thought I could do just this one thing and still live with myself. No, that's that's not how love can move ethics a person work. to do some strange things, Wilco. Oh, it's on love. She knew how I felt and used it to her advantage. Ooh, okay. It's still wrong, but I, I can understand him at least. About that love thing, but but wait a minute. Slow down. <laughs> are you saying you have the hots for? I, I mean, you are actually romantically intrigued by Sharpay? Wow, you are serious. <laughs> I agree that love can make you do some weird stuff. In this case, though, it made you do some stuff that was unethical and illegal, Doctor. Where is Stellar Santiago? I know she was alive, that her death was faked. What have you done with her? Yeah, what have you done with her? Great Caesar's ghost. The woman, she's still alive, but yes. I'm afraid not much time remains. She is? What do you mean, not much time remains? As you must realize by now, the Golden Light Years project was merely a front for the research I'd been conducting per Sharpay's wishes. She is intensely fearful of death. You probably didn't notice that she is getting up in age a bit. Project Immortality? Yeah. Who could have guessed that? In very simple terms, Janitor Wilco. That's janitor second class, pal. Don't you <laughs> yeah, you tell him. Excuse me, janitor second class. As I was saying, Sharpe feared dying, enough to take the lives of others to save her own. She knew I loved her. I remember the day I met her. It was at the funeral of... Oh, I believe it was her fourth husband, and I remember never having seen her look so radiant... I fell for her, hard, and she knew it. You should have seen her in black. I'll pass, thanks. Just tell me about Stellar. Okay. The bottom line is that I have developed a way to extend Sharpay's life by transferring her mental essence into the body of another. It was to be you until your friend Stellar Santiago got in the way. We thought no one would miss you. Go figure. <laughs> what I have done is to employ nanotechnology to take over the designated host body, as is happening with your friend. So basically, the only reason she targeted us was it for Stella's revenge or anything. It's because we're unimportant. By Sharpay? Jeez. I don't understand. Is there anything we could do to stop it? I've never really thought of it that way. Well, think about it now. <laughs> we have to save Stellar. We yes. can't let her die. You I agree. Redeem yourself at least to some degree, Doc. I agree. Exactly. As much as it pains me to admit it, you're right, Roger. You're right. And that's that is painful, okay. but still, I we're right. I may have a plan. We can save her. There are some interesting spin-off technological breakthroughs. I'm going to send you in to stop Sharpay. Where so are you what? sending me? No. Uh, I don't think it's her only chance if you seriously care for your friend you'll do this where are you sending me oh the only way huh the only way well okay then I hope you're sure about this I'm positive here's how we shall go about it you will move your shuttle into lab B Meanwhile, I will generate new software for your shuttle's navigational system, which will help you locate the nanites, the very small robotic devices I developed for the intrusion. One of them is Sharpay. If you can stop Sharpay, well, your friend's chances of survival improve immensely. Then, then, once I have located and extracted you, I shall work to repair whatever damage may have been done to Stella during the attempted incursion. What exactly do you want me to do? I'm mean, getting some weird vibes here. What are we going into? Oh, the don't tell is me. Nicely miniaturized by the beam deal. Hopefully, it is reversible. Perhaps you should have asked about that. There are some things you can't afford to have smaller. 
Are we actually going into Stellar's body to confront Sharp Bay? Or is it just gonna crush me? Oh my god, that's terrifying. Yeah! We're actually going directly into her to try to stop Sharpay from basically taking over her mind. Okay, this is uh this is not where I thought this game was going. Hey, I, I guess this is where we're going. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Oh, my God. So, um, all right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's go save Stellar by exploring her body. It sounds really dirty. But it's not my fault. I mean, we're literally in her body. Okay, let's, probably not a good idea to just walk out. Uh, I have a feeling I need to get my, uh, suit. I don't think this atmosphere is going to be conductive, but let's see what happens it's first. It's pretty sticky out there. Maybe you should wear your EVA <sighs> suit. Now I was talking to Trifle about this uh, shortly in his stream. I said, you know, the latest Space Quest games don't let you kill yourself like the other ones did. Like the other ones, you could just open that door and it would let me in and you would get a death animation. I don't really get that anymore. Isn't that weird? What is this? It's the subroutine program disc the doctor gave you to be able to navigate through Stellar's body. Okay, how do I use it? Why is it a fish here? Your hiney after it's been chewed out by your boss. This thing is so weird. Um, do we need to Don't use our? That. Hold on. Um. Uh, Acme Nanite Detector Shuttle Submarine, designed by. Done. Nanites found. This is the shuttle's cockpit. This is the sh Don't pick it. Alright, so basically we have to go from the head to her... Chest. You summon- Don't touch- Don't- How do I get the- This back? It would- That- You summon the ability- Alright, that's how. I mean, I don't know how how that helps me, considering uh, we're about to go outside, and once we go outside, it's not like I'm gonna be able to put on the, you know, put the disc and stuff on. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've seen that one before. That was great. Oh, that was good. I was like, dude, you don't put the helmet on first. Uh, it's... All right. You don't have to wear your helmet out there. Well then. Fine. Why do we need a suit then? You're treading on the fundus, a broad expanse of tissue covering the outside of the stomach. Ah. Uh. For some reason, doing so gives you the feeling of being a one-man army. Okay, so if we're in the stomach, does that mean we After need to go all, to the head? It does travel on its stomach. That makes a lot of sense, though. Because she's trying to take over her mind, which means she's in the brain, so we need to get to the brain. Oh, that looks real nice. I, I don't know what that big round thing is. I'm a janitor, damn it, not a doctor. <laughs> Love the Star Trek references. You recognize that festering infected crevice. Really? As if Stellar didn't already have enough to worry about, she's got an ulcer. And it's not just an ulcer, it's puckered. It's a peptic ulcer. I don't know if that's a joke or serious. That kind of worries me. She has an ulcer. Oh. You're treading on the fundus. 
All right, where do we go? There's an exit. Can't go up there. And just walk off. Oh, oh, that's. Oh, how about this? What the heck? The inside of Stellar's tummy is slippery, mostly because of the mucus secreted by the stomach lining. And there are a few pock marks here and there, but when push comes to shove, this is the most beautiful stomach you've ever been in. Yeah. There's just this one thing. Yeah. Those little robots are the nanites sent down to aid in taking over Stellar's body. They look like guard nanites. Oh, great. But then, for all you know, they could be ballerina nanites. <laughs> The inside of Stellar's top there's just but then the inside of the but yeah, what do I do? It feels like that would it Oh, this is weird. That is so weird. Like this is just weird. I have no idea what's going on at this moment. Yeah, okay, we're down. That's good, because that was strange. Dang, these look tasty. Boy, that micro Prozac she inhaled slowed her systems down to a crawl. These things haven't been touched by stomach acid yet. Look at that base on those bugs. You acquire a candy. Hey, can I get more? I already have one. Okay, another one. Oh! Okay! That's dope. Works for me. Strategy, uh, point click at Adventure Games 101. Just grab everything, right? It's like I got rope. I got a feather. That's not really recommended. You're outfitted for the vacuum of outer space, not the inner acids of Stellar Santiago. That's a good point. Um, let's drop a save. Bring a new one just to make sure. I've been saving enough and having to backtrack isn't always Go fun. On over there and check them out if you okay let's do it are they gonna kill me <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh goodness those little guys are efficient however based on how they left your boots behind you might consider some odor eaters I went from laughing to horror in like 0.2 seconds that was horrifying oh man can I throw him an M&M? &M? Excellent get boy. It probably uh, throw him the fish. It would appear. It would. That's it. Um, is the? It's a piece of staple. You've got to wonder what was on the menu for Stellar's last meal. Ew, and this thing was huge. It's one of those ticklish pin feather things. Can I you tickle him? It would, boy. It would. It probably. It would, it would, it, it, it would, as, not a, hmm, careful, in this, careful, 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 nothing, 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 try careful, to combine nothing, things, nothing, nothing, careful, in this, nothing, in this, careful, oh, hello, that's your makeshift grappling hook, hmm, in, not, 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 in the, careful, not, not, not. So can I? An, it would have. <laughs> oh, it didn't work, it but it didn't work. Seen. How do I get rid of these little guys? Excellent, X, X, it, it would, at, as, Hmm. Not careful. Not careful. In. Not, not careful. Not careful. In. The, careful. Okay, there's somebody else I had to add to this. Not. 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 So how you guys been? I hope you've had a not, wonderful, not, fantastic careful, week. In. The, careful. 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 Um. In. Not. 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 I, I don't know what to do here. Not. Not. Careful. In, in, not, careful, excellent, it prompt that, as cool as it, yeah, I have no idea what to do here, as cool, 
It probably boy axle boy. It feel. I mean, I could go back up. But I don't know how it's gonna help. What the heck is that? Red light. Hmm, this is not good. Apparently some or all of the intermix element in fuel tank three was disgorged during your heinous venous joyride. <laughs> That's not all that was disgorged, but we'll skip the details. Thanks. I uh I appreciate that. Quit boinking the fuel tank light. <laughs> what is this? It's alveoli, but it reminds you of spaghetti. Yeah? What did I just pick up? What did I just pick up? You're the first one on your block to actually possess someone else's alveoli. Um, you okay. In the careful. In in the not in the not in the not. Maybe this is what I use on the the bugs. As boy would. What is this? That even light is starting to freak me out. It would as it pop as that as What do I do to get rid of these little guys? Cause they're gonna kill me. Don't go on over there and it boy that boy boy How do I get rid of these things? It it that that's at at not not Hmm Trying everything. Ed, it, Ed, you, you, you actually don't need. To. I'm trying everything here. Boy, Ed, that it. It would act. That it act. I need to get over to the left. It act. Boy, Are these things. Oh, hello. Okay, that did something. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. The acid rises, but just not quite high enough. Hmm. Do I need to get more? You are. Uh, now let's try again. Interesting. The acid. One more time. You. Third time is the charm. Interesting. The acid rises, but just not quite high enough to submerge those nanites. And now I'm out of candy. I, oh, I completely screwed myself. Um. I already. How do I? It not in 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 in. Careful, careful, not not. Okay, so I need to do something. As cool as it would, it would. I need to do something to make the acid rise. Interesting. It would have But I don't know how to do that. It probably seemed Boy Careful in care I don't know what to do in, here. In, careful. Oh I said this game is hard. Like I really feel like this is the hardest space quest game Nothing. I've played. Careful. careful in That's an it, it would appear. I got score points for that. Interesting. The acid rises, but yeah, I got score points for that. I, I, you're supposed to do something with the acid. You, are I'm just not sure what else was supposed to do with it. It probably. Axel. I mean, this 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 looks like that. This looks like something I had to the do. You retrieve from the shuttle trunk. It reminds you of one of those hand pumps you use when the astro head plugs up. It seems like I'm supposed that's to use this in the acid and like shoot the acid it at them. Boy, it, act, 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 it, it, act, it, that, it, act, that. But I have no idea how to do that. In this. Hmm. In. Careful. It. It would appear. 
as it prop act that act as okay you saw me try basically everything here so i gave my due diligence all right back. I, I think it was on the right track it's just i didn't think of i, I thought the solution to the puzzle was here but i guess not so what I need to do is I need to put yep. all the candy in here like I was doing before. And the uh, the grappling hook didn't work the first time because I wasn't where I need to be. So I need to use the grappling hook here. Okay, now we're on the right backtrack, okay. Looks nice like I fell down anyway. <laughs> At least I didn't fall in the acid. That's good. I should be able to climb up this now, right? Oh, okay. Now we're on the right track. Uh, th th this confused me with the uh, grappling hook thing. What the heck is this? What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an esophagus before? Not like this. No. Where am I going? What is this? It's one of those tiny timed release pills. As I recall, these are designed to not melt down and release their medicines until they've gotten to an area past the stomach. Are you gonna grab it? Without falling to my death? It's a big pill. Oops. I'm sure it's fine. It feels slightly gritty. What is this? These are the trachea and bronchi. That's where the lungs hook in. Okay. All right, let's let's go back down and check out the pill. What is this? A large hunk of twinkoid cake food. I was gonna say it looks like a twinkie. Just below her epiglottis, it appears to have gotten jammed on the way to her stomach for digestion. Yes. It wouldn't be. Right, let's go down. Let's try to find that pill. Okay, um, I think I'm supposed to... Uh, where the pill go? As do most computer game characters who find themselves in sequels of sequels, you stop the action to reflect on your past exploits. <laughs> you realize you spent a lot of time looking at the contents of your own stomach, but this is the first time you've gotten such a good look at a pool of someone else's potential discharge. <laughs> Pools are deceptively still and shallow. They look harmless, but they're seething with pepsin and hydrochloric acid, a chemical brew of protein-dissolving, bacteria-destroying glop, strong enough to dissolve almost anything, especially organic life forms like yourself. That'd be bad. Yeah, I, I think that would be bad. Um, hmm. Uh, the pill doesn't go until it goes past the stomach. She hasn't... Uh, it knocked down here, which means it probably fell into acid, but it's probably not past her stomach. So we need to get past her stomach. And there was something else up here. This thing, Majig. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen an esophagus before? These are the trachea and bronchi. That's where the lungs hook in. The lungs. This is another one of those cutaway views. There's nothing you can do to that from in here. <laughs> I can't do anything with this? What's the matter? It... You start to see something and then you remember that you're supposed to be... Yeah, I mean, actually... These are the trick... Um... I throw a fish down as it? As cool as it would be... Is that David? Uh, I'm trying everything on. Excellent guess, Kreskin. Tickle it? Wrong. No. Wait, tickle. We have a feather. As cool as it. No. Boy, boy. Yeah. Uh, whoa. What just happened? Okay. Am I frustrated with trying everything? I actually did tickle it. Ah, uh, that. I was like, oh my god. Oh, that's a big Twinkie that just fell down. I don't even know if I want to go down to that stomach right now. 
No, I definitely don't want to go that stuff. Oh my god, that is a lot of acid. Alright, that's one way to get rid of a bunch of tiny robots. And yeah, I, I thought I had something to do with the pill. Nope, it was the giant Twinkie. Well, hey, it works. And there's the pill. An interesting idea. What are you up to, Roger? Is there anything I can do with you this? It's one of those tiny timed. An interesting. I, I don't know. It, it, can I do anything with this pill? That's. It would appear that. I. Shortcut to inventory. No. It's like at the end of the game. Now I'm trying to see if there's a shortcut to go to my pockets. <laughs> okay. It would. That's all my inventory. So I guess I can't do anything with this. Well, at least not at the moment. All right. Let's go to the left. Where are we? Maybe I should save. Sounds like a good idea. This is the upper area of the duodenum. Duodenum? Matter pre-processed from the stomach enters here through the pylorus above. It has a lovely bile-colored decor, and for a very good reason. This is the area in which raw processed ingestibles are mixed with a variety of secretions for further breakdown. I, I don't really know what that means. I I'm not a... Yeah, good Not idea. a science guy. You don't have quite enough slime, mucus, phlegm, and bile <laughs> on you already. Did I just walk? Thought that screen would kill me somehow. This looks like the center section of the duodenum. It has that same lovely bile green brilliance. Also knows uh whatever this is. Ah, uh, the old ampulla of Vater. Surrounded Vater? by the sphincter of Adi. Didn't you always wonder what it looked like? Not really. The bile slick seems to be a little fresher there. Mm, is there a way? Okay, I can go that way, or I can go that way. Um, go down. What the heck is this? Looks like a sarlacc pit. This is the very bottom of our old friend, the duodenum. You can see the beginning of the jejunum. The villi start here. They increase the surface area of the small intestine a great deal, giving more area to absorb nutrients. I thought I was supposed to be going up all into in the all, brain. just looks like a French tickler turned inside out to me. Why am I going down? What? Never mind, it's not important. <laughs> Great Scott, that certainly is one buff parasite. I think I'm gonna spew. But who'll notice? Man, that thing's ugly. What the heck? Uh -oh. Since you've entered the table <laughs> and not partially digested, you'll probably give him heartburn. I hope you're proud of yourself. Well, that was one thing I was expecting. Yeah, it reminds me kind of a uh, Quest for Glory 4 when the, uh, when the, the tentacles just come and, like, eat you. Um, yeah, that sounded more gross than it, than it actually is. It is actually kind of bad, but anyway. Where am I now? Welcome to the heart of the bile belt. This is indeed spew central. At this location, secretions from the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas merge to form a duodenal delight, guaranteed to break down almost anything the stomach doesn't. The common bile duct runs up from here. That's the top part of the head of Stellar's pancreas. An odd feeling passes through you just being amongst Stellar's organs. Um, I mean, an odd feeling goes to me just being here, period. Yeah, it's... it's... Okay, there's a giant tentacle monster. Guy, can I just say that loud? Um... Cape warm down this south is the cystic duct you are quite near where the gallbladder becomes part of the bile parade I have no idea what I'm doing a large gallstone hangs above the entrance to the gallbladder that wouldn't be wise those suckers could fall and smash you flat that would be bad uh, let's see exit there where are we now 
That giant acid pit. Wow, check out all that bile. Looks like her liver's been doing just fine. That's a pool of bile any liver would be proud of. You sure can't speak highly of its aroma. If you say so, game. You have known. Your utterances fall on uninterested <laughs> oral <laughs> organs. See, I'm pretty space quest games there, but like, hey, wanna look that? Fine. Fine by me? What do I do here? Okay, um. It probably. You're the Try everything. Excellent. That's a. Yeah, I mean, just try everything boy. at this point. It would. Boy. It would. It probably. I don't know what to do with this pile. And that's not all our in, inventory care, items. In, in, not, not, careful, careful, not, in, careful, not. Okay, continue to explore. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, uh, until I hit a. Until I hit a giant roadblock. Which has already happened to me in one episode. Um, just move around. All right. The heck is this? This is the main pancreatic duct. It appears that there's some blockage toward the tail of the pancreas. It definitely gets a bit snug. Seems to be a buildup of cholesterol arterial plaque. This is the main. Okay. Don't touch that. So, let's go along this way. It looks a lot more detailed than it did in Space Quest <laughs> 4, that's for sure. It feels slightly gritty. That's done. Okay, so I need to get rid of this. Hey, right, the first item that I had worked, except it Don't didn't. Take it back. Oh! Okay. I, I I don't know what's going on right now, but I, I I'll take it. I'll take it. After being stuck earlier, I will absolutely take it. Where are we now? This looks horrifying. A nice pool of pancreatic secretions made up of insulin and glucagon fill the bottom of the islands of Langerhans. Langerhans. Don't pick at your hands won't you some that's despite the overwhelming urge to play Rocky with these cute little dangly things, you are wise enough to realize that you must inflict as little damage as possible to Stellar's interior. Okay, fair enough. Can I go off screen here? It's gotta be something that I do in this room. I mean I had to pass a puzzle to get here, right? Fish. Boy, that's as that as boy. Hey. As boy, as it act. Helmet. Okay. Oh, you I maneuver your helmet beneath the drip and manage to snag a nice little dollop of the stuff. I understand that. Okay. Finally, find a puzzle. I actually understand. It looks vaguely like your hiney after it's been chewed out by your boss. Mm. Can I drop the fish in here? Careful, combining those items might- Oh, that would've been- That would've been fun, I would've had like a fish in the bowl. So now do I take the, uh, the liquid over to the, uh, to the bile room? I, mean, I don't know what else to do with it. And it did seem like that would be- I, I don't know if that makes logical sense, because I have no idea what this is gonna do. Uh, but it just makes sense to me. Yeah, <laughs> it just makes sense to me. So let's go this way. Exit stage left. Come upon this giant pile. And let's see, we will get excellent guess, boy. Act it it act that act it boy act, act that it act, act. or not. Not careful, not in in the Careful. It would appear. Act it it it. Act, act. I guess not. I mean, it, it made a lot of sense to me. Um, that you would use this liquid here. 
Uh, but I guess it doesn't. Uh, where else do I go then? Uh, the only thing else I can do is go to the tape one, but the tape one kind of eats me instantly, right? Can I use this on that? Can I use this on my head? It, boy. Yeah, that would be disgusting. All right. All right, let's go to the left. Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and drop the seat here. And we will... Can I go up? What if I'm supposed to use this on the pill? Pop out here. Hey, that works. But what did it do? An interesting idea. I have no idea. An interesting. An interest. An. In hey, don't put. You. An interest. An. In an interest. An. In what did that do? As cool as it. That. What did that literally do? That. That's. That's an. It. It probably. As. Bo bo it. I. I am. I am so very confused right now. As. As. That's not what I was expecting here. An interesting. An. In and it seems like I can't click on it. That wouldn't. Pr an intro. An in. Your words call. Boy. An interesting mm. idea. What are you up to, mm. Roger? You know, I wish I knew, narrator. I also An don't know what I'm doing. Idea. What? what do I do with this giant pill? An interesting. I'm supposed to combine it with something else, aren't I? But what do I combine it with? Because if I go south, I run into the tape one. The tape one kills me instantly. If I go to the pull of bile, I tried using everything on the pull of bile, nothing works. Uh, if I go upstairs to the uh, the lungs, I can't do anything there. Um, if I go back to my ship, I don't know how it helps because the, the button's flashing and I can't use it. An interesting um, and I can't do anything with this. Hmm. Maybe I should go back to the tape room again. Maybe I missed something there. Uh, I'll drop a save here though. Just to make sure. And we'll head out. I wonder if you're supposed to get more of this stuff and put it on the uh... No, I'm here. I might as well just get more of this stuff, right? Because what if you're supposed to get more and then put it on the pill a second time? I mean, that seems rather redundant, but it is a space quest game. So, maybe it's not redundant. Maybe it's just what you do. You maneuver your helm. Or maybe you weren't supposed to put that on the pill, and the pill was like an optional thing, and you're actually supposed to use this liquid somewhere else. Possible. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna head to the pill. I'm gonna use it on the pillow. If nothing happens this time, then I'll just go ahead and load. So I don't have to check back and forth. If this is what you're supposed to do though, this is kind of grating. Because the fact that you were supposed to use a puzzle solution on an item multiple times, that's not the best puzzle design if that's what you do. At least not in my book. Yeah, you see nothing changed, okay. Yeah, like I said, if you have to go back and do something like multiple times, that just doesn't seem correct. What are we doing here? Why did we just do that? It's kind of weird the way we're walking on this thing. So we come out this way, now we're down here, but I can't go to the right, because every time I try to go to the right, he does that. So there is no exit this way. And here's the, uh... That thing is horrifying. Wait, Scott, that certainly is one buff parasite. I think I'm gonna spew. But who'll notice? Man, that thing is ugly. That thing is horrifying. That's, that's something you like out of Silent Hill. 
as cool as that's an in axle it that mm. thought maybe it would appear it would boy i've already done that no careful careful no no careful that's an it would appear are the fish at it axle boy it that's mm. it that, that, that. it's a tapeworm he seems to be lazily grazing in the valley of the villi mm. that has no effect at least it appears that way you get a jump on senility by mumbling <laughs> to yourself excellent g the shuttle's alarm is now activated no that's a good thing or not the it's got pretty good range though since you've entered the tapeworm not partially digested you'll probably give him heartburn so it makes me think i'm supposed to get the pill and give the tapeworm the pill and by doing that it allows me to go to the next area the only problem is i can't do anything with the pill because every single time i try to pick it up nothing happens an interesting idea what are you up to roger can i take this down an interest Yeah, like I said, Space Ghost is hard. Yeah, Space Ghost is hard. It's just a thing. All right, yeah, I've... I, I don't... I don't think there's any way... Like I said, this this game is seems a lot harder than all the other Space Quest games, which is weird. Because I felt like Monkey Island got more easier as the game went on. Uh, as the series went on. Um, because the game just... Like, the puzzles got more logical and less obtuse. Um, because Monkey Island 2 had some really obtuse puzzles. Still an amazing, fun game, though. But, man, that was tricky. Uh, this game, though, takes a cake. This game is, like, intentionally made in such a way that... Like... I don't even know if I'm supposed to be here. Um... Boy, what... That's as cool... It... 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 That... It... Like I said, I have no idea where to use this thing at. Um, supposed to use this to get like. Is it here? That's cool. That's as it that 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 that. that. Yeah, I have no idea where to use this. Um, I'm supposed to use it to like get some of the bile, and then what you do is you mix it with uh this. And when you mix it with this, you then pour it on the pill and you get a uh and you get an item from the pill. Which is very, very clever, by the way. Um, I just it don't understand why to use this at. That By the way, I think it's supposed that to grab use that's hit 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 you hit 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 that don't that's don't it It would I guess I'm not. Hmm. You're kind of strange because. Boy, it probably. Wow! This game is. <laughs> this game is so kicking my butt that even after I look at what I'm supposed to do next, I'm still stuck on what to do next. Because I'm not exactly sure where to go. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing, my friends. I am sorry about that. Uh. Hmm, you go away for a couple days and your brain just doesn't work the way it was, right? Yeah. Guess so. Okay, so I missed a step somewhere. I'm supposed to grab... Is it this? Wow, that's some interesting looking stuff you've got collected in the engine intake. Looks like a small collection of blood capillaries. Yeah, so this is what I missed. I was supposed to grab this. This heat tile looks loose. Whoops. I have to stop doing that. It's not what I want to do. Let's grab this. There we go. And then, with my many combi combinations that I've been doing, because that's what you do, I would have you known to do this. You cleverly take the capillaries together. 
All the little capillaries you collected are nicely attached together with duct tape. And then this forms a rope. Nice work. You or hooked up your makeshift hose to the pump. And now with the hose, I can uh, get that liquid, uh, that blue liquid. So basically, I didn't pick up one item because that one item is really hard to see on that ship. Uh, I did grab something off this ship, so you know, it's not like I. It's not like the game. It's not like the game um, made something difficult to find. I just didn't see it. Uh, I'll be I'll be completely frank with you guys. I just missed it. And unfortunately, in a point like adventure game, you miss one item and you basically get stuck because I mean, I, you could try a hundred different things, which is what I did try to do, uh, but nothing would work because I didn't have that one item. So now that I have that one item. Because I read that you're supposed to connect the duct tape with capillaries, and I'm over here like, where are the capillaries I'm supposed to put the duct tape to? I didn't realize it was attached to the ship. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize it was attached to the ship, which caused all these other problems. You chuck one of the taped capillaries over the muscular ledge. It drops into the pool. And now I crank it. And this should give me a mixed liquid. Hopefully it's not normalium and fatalium mixed together. Sorry, very few people will get you that give reference. The pump a stroke or two, and in the process, gather a nice helmet load of bile. I guess congratulations are in order. All right. Um. So now I have. It looks vaguely like your hiney after it's been. I have this thing, and now with this thing, I should be able to go to the pill. And use it on the pill, except this time something different is going to happen, which is awesome. Finally, can get going. And then I imagine I use the pill on the uh, tapeworm. And when I use it on the tapeworm, uh, the tapeworm is going to move away and I can go further into the. Uh... Oh my god! Uh, run! I can't do anything. Uh, I hope this is just a normal cutscene because I can't do anything. Please don't make it a QT event. Ooh, nice dive! Okay, I guess I'm not going back up there again. The gallstone is wedged in the bile duct, and that's just a fine place for it. All right, I hope Sella didn't die from that. What are these? Nice gallstone collection. Yeah. 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 Those are the gallstones you collected as souvenirs from Stellar's common bile duct. And then point click retro game, you do really pick up everything, don't you? That is... Uh. All right, let's go this way. And now we need to go to the uh, pill. And hopefully this time it works because we did put one of the things on there already. But this time we had the power of two mixtures. Why are our powers combined? We have a bunch of little tablets. It's one of those tiny timed release pills. Okay. You now own one of those tiny timed release pills. Why do I have 50,000 of them? You now own. You now. You. You. Okay, apparently you this is a thing. How many of these do I have now? It's one of those neat. Okay, I, I guess you can only pick up one. Fine. So my, uh, I didn't read ahead on this, but I assume. Uh, you use this thing on the uh, tapeworm. And then that will allow me to continue down the Sarlacc pit. Which I think is a really bad idea. Again, I thought I was supposed to be going up to the brain. So why am I wandering around the stomach area? This just doesn't seem to be where we're supposed to go, Roger Wilco. It's a, such a weird turnabout here. So pockets, this stuff. Yep, exactly. Hmm, impressive. The tapeworm suddenly becomes much more animated. Oh, that was a good idea. Uh, throw these at it. Boy would. Throw the fish at it. Boy would. Is this thing gonna eat me? But you know, now we're digested. You remember before how it said, uh, it, it said something, and it ate us. Oh, it's not eating us. 
Oh, hello, little guy. The tapeworm is a little wired, thanks to you. He looks like he has plenty of energy. Alright, so can I just walk over it? Climb on it? Please remember to keep your arms and legs on the worm at all times. Wait, what? What? What is going on in this game? This is so weird. It is, this game is just really, really, really weird, okay? It's got the weirdest music ever, too. Now that's a ride you won't take in the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Alright, my friends. Well, my name is Flysburg. This is your Base Gaming Channel. And this is our Blind Let's Play Space Quest 6, this Final Frontier. Uh, I want to say thank you for everything. I love you all so very much. It's good to be back. And I, I'm i excited to, uh, uh, to uh, get near the end of this game. Uh, our final Space Quest adventure. Uh, and it's been... It's been an interesting ride, is to say the least. Uh, this game is funny, and there's a lot of good moments, but it's also got a lot of these really just confusing moments where I'm just not good enough to figure things out, apparently. And I'm okay with that. Uh, it, it makes it makes the game interesting when when I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And then I'm like, oh, that does make sense, doesn't it? All right, well, hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you again very soon. And until then, so long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.